So we had a few rainy days this week and I noticed that my daughter left her toys outside and cleaned and I saw some pleasant surprises in there and I'm gonna call the kids see if they can figure out what's there. Okay, look very closely guys. Um, what do you see? Tadpoles? How small are these tadpoles? They're small, tiny. Are they really tadpoles? Look closely. What would tad which, Have you had any frogs around lately? Oh, no, they're not. The one from far, they look like tadpoles. Maybe they're very small. But then these ones have very long antennas. Aha, uh -huh, that's a good observation. Long antennas, they do tail. So what do you think they are? Take one guess. What is very common outside? Bugs. What kind of bugs? Insects. What kind of insects? If you remember school, what has what insect has its life cycle in water? Fish. <laughs> no. It See those? I like my ship, Michael. Michael, what do you think they are? Elijah, what do you think they are? This you guys did it in school. I remember your lessons. Myron, what do you think it is? Well, one choice for whoever guess can guess it right. How many do you think they are? Can you count them? Do you want to go uh, search it on the internet? So what are you going to search for when you're looking for it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are lava of some kind. What lover are these? They are mosquitoes. How do you know they are mosquitoes? <laughs> you just guessed it. Why run mosquitoes? Why? Why were you surprised? I don't know. I just didn't think they were mosquitoes. Uh, I was surprised because these ones look like they have a longer tail. So we thought that they were dragonflies. Dragonflies? Yeah, and also dragonflies are normally in plants next to them. That's true. So, Micah, why are you surprised that they are mosquitoes? I didn't know like mosquitoes like, could live in water. I didn't know like mosquitoes can like live in water. Like, could live when they're little, they could live in water. Yeah. Yeah, part of their life is in water. They lay their this eggs. The like I also thought like insects are like uh, they, they die when they're like they're in water. The adult one, yeah. yes. But maybe what you should do is go and read out on um, read up on how do they breathe. So clearly, you, uh, you guys are going to secondary school, so you learn a lot more about it. How do they breathe? Oh, no, I think it's in these long sticks because they are always lying flat and putting it outside of the water. Very good. If you see how they lie, this little thing. The little you call it a little stick but that's their breathing tube they are lying with it up above the water so just like you have a snorkeling tube and you're breathing the snorkeling tube is actually above the water that's how they breathe they can for a very short time be underwater but they still have to come up with this little tail of theirs it's not really a tail it's their breathing tube so that's how they are Exactly. We have to throw this away because then we don't want so many mosquitoes. Yes, so wash it. And wash it so that it's clean. But then what do you learn about your toys outside? What you sh what should you do after you're done playing with your water toys outside? Wash them. No. Wash them, then keep them Wash them, clean them and keep them dry. 
because if you leave them wet this is what happens mosquitoes come because even when you keep them dry you have to put them upside down let's take a closer look at the life cycle of a mosquito in pictures on google uh, we see that the adult mosquito lives mainly above water so it doesn't live in water at all but when it lays it, its eggs it lays a bunch of eggs more than a hundred eggs at one time in a bunch that is floating on water and that's what is called a raft so these eggs develop and in a few days become into lava the lava are actually in um, different stages if you remember in the in the picture in the water we had several sizes of the lava we have a small one that's the first stage when they just hatch from the eggs we have the second stage they get bigger every time they shed skin they get bigger and they shed skin about four times so at the fourth stage of lava when they shed the skin they become the pupa but talking about the lava you see they have the longer breathing stick which is normally above water they are feeding very fast and growing very fast and very active they can dive underwater for a while to escape from animals or predators but they soon come back to breathe on top of the water so the pupa are less active and um, they're bigger and they are not feeding that's the the non-feeding stage of the mosquito and it's growing and it has two short breathing tubes also above the water and when it's ready to hatch into an adult mosquito, it will, the adult mosquito will emerge above the water and then it will fly away after a few minutes when its wings are dry and hardened. And then it will be ready to lay eggs again and become into, uh, start the cycle again. So that is it. You have seen that a part of the development cycle of a mosquito is actually underwater. Thank you. I didn't know that mosquitoes had a bit of their life underwater. I found it really interesting that mosquitoes also have a life underwater. I did not think it was possible because the adult mosquitoes normally die in water and because the young mosquitoes in the water did not look familiar to the adult mosquitoes. I didn't know that mosquitoes, like they, when they like steal lava, a lava, they like they have this tail and they use it to breathe with. And yeah, no, yeah, and like I, I just found that a bit strange. Like they look very different, as if they're like like tadpoles or something. And then they end up to be a fly. I also will we'll clean up all my toys and put them in a plastic bag so the mosquitoes don't lay their eggs.